everyone and welcome to my channel lilies and blush my name is suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which is going to be kind of me more in depth going through my new digital planner uh, for 2023 but also touching on good notes on how i'm using it in general and some of the other planners i am using and incorporating into my life this year to help me stay on track for the things that I want to do this year and everything else. So uh, basically, I again, if you've been on this channel for a while, you would know that I used to be obsessed with paper planners and stickers and all that stuff and used to do a lot with, around that on this channel and then kind of dropped that just because, I don't know, it just always felt it was getting stressful for me, to be honest, um, to just be like 100% transparent. It was the stress more than anything. There were other little factors here and there as well, but it was kind of becoming more stressful than fun for me um, because I wanted to film and share it, but then that added stress of like, I have to do this. But even when I didn't film and I was just doing it for me, it still felt stressful because I do struggle with OCD and anxiety. And so I feel like it was just amping that up a lot. And honestly, I was mostly just recording what had already happened. It wasn't really helping me plan or guide my life into any sort of direction of what I was wanting to do or helping me track anything. I was using other things for that and it just became redundant for me um, and not as purposeful as I was wanting it to be. And so um, that's where uh, I, you know, kind of just dropped planning in general like I was using stuff at work um that was a little different and kind of just using my phone to track different things um but you know recently I noticed like I was definitely losing some things and I didn't feel like you know I'm a to-do list person again for my anxiety to-do list and like structure is great it really helps um, but on the side, the other side of that, my OCD, like writing it down, I don't like the way my handwriting looks, or I didn't like the way I placed that sticker, you know, those kinds of things that I'm sure if you do paper planning, you would totally understand, um, that sometimes you get a little too in your head and it's just who I am. Um, and something I just have to accept. And I did, of course. Um, and I started, you know, thinking of other options uh, this past month in December and trying to see you know maybe and I started thinking about digital planning but I tried it before and I just didn't like it and I don't think it's because I think it's because I didn't you know watch a lot of YouTube videos or really like understand it very well or really have the patience for it um and also I did have an older iPad and so like I felt like that was just kind of clunky a little bit I didn't know what apps to use like uh you know it's just stuff like that so Basically, this time around, I stumbled across some videos, I got a new iPad, um, iPad Air, and also the big thing that really influenced this is tarot. I started getting really into tarot at the end of the year, and um, they there was this uh, ritual is this website that I found. And I'd always been looking at their tarot planner and how meaningful that was to me and how intrigued I was by it. Um, kind of using that to guide me through things. And so um, I started looking into that and I was trying to decide, do I want a paper version and stickers or do I want a digital version? And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna dive into the digital. Uh, Cause it just seemed really seamless the way their digital planner was set up. It was very encouraging. So long story short, here I am, new iPad, new iPad pen, new, way of doing planning and I'm very excited to share it with you. So uh, enough of me jabbering on and let's dive into it. So here is my 2023 planner and the shortcut to it. And then you'll see I already have tabs for my tarot and astrology ones. I will show that to you guys. I'm still definitely learning and figuring things out. Um, but first I want to start with um, the first page that I use. So Essentially, um, this is the main dashboard to the planner, but um, this is actually like the beginning of it, my cover, planner cover. Um, so it's the man Modern Planner by Planner Collective. I got it, um, I don't 
don't actually think I got it through their website, not through Etsy, but um, essentially I purchased this once I got the tarot planner and decided I wanted like a regular planner as well to put other things in um, and that I would just use, you know, the bits and pieces that were relevant to me. And I feel like that's another nice thing about digital planning if you're considering it is that nothing's going to waste. Like in paper planners, there were a lot of goal pages and things like that. I just don't do stuff like that or really fill it out. Um, it's kind of things that I just set in my mind. So, um, I don't use those types of pages or like I wasn't using the monthlies or things like that. So I just didn't, um, use those pages and then they were going to waste essentially because it was unused paper that would then you know either get thrown away at the end of the year or just put away and never written on never used and so it always felt like I was wasting um but with a digital planner you're not wasting anything it's just a screen page like it's just a page and you can use it however you want you can delete it if you don't even want it like you can just trash it be careful of links um and things like that I'll go over that in a little bit but Oh, I'm clicking on stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just um, a really great you know way to not be wasteful if that's uh, something that you're thinking about. So then there's a little info page and I love this. Like you have different videos on how to use it. There's so many stuff on YouTube about it. So many things on how to use good, good notes in general and then also using it for planning. I just learned so much. And I really, really like it. And then here we are at the dashboard. And as you can see, there's little tabs here on the right side. And then there's also little icons up in the top right corner. Um, and I'll kind of show those to you guys in a little bit and how I might use those. But the biggest thing I do right now, as I've gone through and decided how I'm going to use this planner, I essentially, oh not outlines, I have favorites. So I favorited every page that I've put any information on so that I can just jump to those without having to remember where that is. that page is located. And I still have all the other pages there to potentially use if down the road I decide to use them for something. So I'm not deleting anything and I'm not worried about ruining links or things like that. Um, what's really great too is when I purchased this, I got the 2023 planner and the 2024 planner, um, and undated versions as well. So, um, then I can use this for years and years and years. Like if I really like the way this is set up and I don't want to purchase a 2025 planner, then I can just reuse this again and put my own dates into it, which is amazing. So yeah, so anyway, so this is my dashboard. I have my short-term to-dos, long-term to-dos. So kind of goals, but also like tasks more than goals necessarily, like arbitrary goals. Um, so, you know, trying to follow my weekly cleaning schedule and failing miserably at that. Started a travel planner, have been able to check that off using Duolingo at least once a week trying to check that off um and then the long-term things you know finding a wax melt tracker that's the one thing i haven't transferred over from paper is my wax melt kind of stuff um but i'm getting there for sure and uh as as i'll kind of show you here in a second and then you know my husband and i we need those new what do they call them the the new ids that you need to be able to fly and stuff like that and then we also want passports because we do eventually plan to fly internationally or travel at least internationally we do want to go to a cruise um eventually and actually i think we should be going on a cruise next year um for a friend's wedding so very exciting stuff and then i do have like upcoming appointments so i can update that continuously so family birthdays appointments just big things for me to remember that are coming up and then we do have a month at a glance and monthly review section and i'll show you that in a second and then um i do have my youtube schedule posted right here so i can reference it whenever i'm uploading videos and then I'll show you in a second again um, the monthly view and how I'm using that and then how I'm using the color coding that I've applied to it so that I can track what videos I've posted, what kind of videos I've posted and when and so then I'm not accidentally uploading like two videos in one day or something like that. Just a way to track my YouTube schedule and um and my uploads and everything. So just to show you what the month at a glance looks like. So if you click into oh actually 
Sorry, I have to click into the, I was in editing mode. Now I'm just in the, I can't remember actually what that's called, but like note page mode. Then I can click on the links. And so this takes you to the month at a glance. So an even deeper like monthly view uh, in that you have, you know, one to 31, a notes section, monthly to do's, goals, priorities, main focus. I couldn't really think of anything I really wanted to put here that wouldn't already be on the monthly view. So I haven't been using that, but um, there we go, back to the dashboard. So then, um, and all these links are always the, the house, heart, weight, like all those are up there. I just always forget to use them, which is why it's nice for me to bookmark and favorites and my brain, that's just how it works. And then we have monthly review. And so obviously this would be at the end of the month, like what you accomplish, what was great, what worked well, what can you improve? How can you make it better? So I think that's really good for anyone who is goal oriented um, and is like focused on, on doing those kinds of things. I think that's a super cool uh, thing. But then I click the home button and it takes me to this page and there's my dashboard. Uh, link that I can click and it would take me right back to the dashboard. So we'll do that. And then down here is quick notes. So again, if you're just looking for a quick place to write notes down or to draw or track something, there you go. It takes you right to some blank pages. And then again, you can click home and it takes you back to the dashboard. So I'll go through what's on here, but basically we have dashboard, key dates, grocery list, bucket list, birthdays, trip planner, meal planner, password tracker, trip itinerary, meal ideas, brain dump, packing list, recipe log, contacts, outfit planner, kitchen inventory, movie log, cleaning log, like literally anything and everything you can think of. Uh, so, and then a notes in a memo section. If you do have any notes of like, hey, bucket list, you need to update that or, um, you know, what you might want to use some of these things for before you dive into actually using them and then I'm going to go ahead and just click through these and show you guys what's on there. So like this is the wellness tab under the little heart and um, our wellness section under the heart uh, link and this is habit tracker to watch, to read, mood tracker, wheel of life, reading log, sleep tracker, dream tracker, reading tracker, gratitude journal. So again anything and everything you could think of that's wellness related and then I'm like tapping on the screen and it's making it change the way that it looks. Um, and then here is actually custom pages. So you can write in whatever um, on this black line here up in the left corner, you could write in whatever you would like and then put in whatever you would like that might be wellness related. So if you find a tracker you wanna use or something like that, you can copy and paste it into here um, and then use it however you like on here. And then you would still have a link to it and then you can put the name of it on there as well. And then, you know, and then you can switch it out as well. So it's not permanent forever. And you get two of those on that page. And then here is the health and fitness. So again, just diving into those health and fitness things and you get two custom pages. Then we have finance order tracker, wish list, subscriptions tracker. So lots of cool finance related things and a custom page and then productivity. So you get to-do lists, meeting minutes, daily routine, project notes, study sessions, Pomodoro, even uh, quarterly planning, project management, project planning, goal tracking, everything you can think of. And then the pencil here is your, um, note paper section so like these are the ones you have the quick notes back on the dashboard that links to these and then you have more options even so checklists and cornell notes and half lined so a hundred different ways to to utilize those and then last is a little like cog here and these are all custom pages so if you have something that doesn't necessarily fit into uh, one of the other categories and or you just prefer this custom page like I did for the habit tracker that I have as you can see I just have number one habit tracker and then there you go so um sorry I'm just gonna oops I went to it there we go so then it's right there and these are all blank pages with the line there no oh, I'm clicking on things okay so let's go home and then 
to back to the dashboard. So then next we have, here, give me one quick second, I'm going to, okay. Um, I was just double checking that you were recording because I was like, wait, on this page with good notes, I can't see the little recording button. So uh, I just was like, oh my gosh, are you recording or not? So from the dashboard, then we'll go ahead and just go to through my favorites and how I'm kind of using this planner. So then the next one in the list is my cleaning log. Uh, so as one of my tasks on my dashboard said, I'm trying to follow my weekly cleaning schedule. I have this up on my refrigerator as well on a little like dry erase board and I'm failing so far this week <laughs> at doing that um, because right now is Saturday. So I have not been, but basically I just scribble in uh, or kind of color in um, the squares. I might like get cute check um, marks like I've been using in other places in my planner, but basically I broke things down by weekly seasonal tasks. So things to remind myself to do every season. Um, and then, yeah, there we go. So I can add other things to it as we go. And that's super fun. And then next we have my birthday section and my brain dump section. So essentially just things that I want to do or think about. Um, I'm kind of using this more almost like a vision board in a way, uh, but also a place to track video ideas and some more things that I want to do. So like I want to do some more tattoo free forms. I used free form to create, um, a tattoo vision board for my next big tattoo um, to have like a singular page that I can print and give my artist and she can help me build the tattoo that I want. Um, you know, I want to focus on self-care. I'm learning about wine this year as well. Um, wax is always, you know, a thing that's that's running through my mind and that I'm, I'm doing things with. I want to start working out again um, and, and having that a part of my routine, videos, ideas. I'm doing that right now, digital planner tour. And then um, like my year in books, I've already checked that off. I've done that. I did my book, you know, uh, videos that may have gone up before this one um, or around the same time as this one, but there we go. So you got that. And then next I have, so this is the trip planner and my next like really big trip is to Vegas with my husband for his birthday weekend. Um, some friends will be joining us as well and we will be attending the main event. Um, why we're going is to attend a, the, when we were young festival, uh, music festival and everything. So I'm just kind of planning out like the days that we'll actually be traveling when we're going to be going. I do have the budget um, and that just kind of covered up for personal reasons, but um, basically I have like a little activity list here and I love that I can zoom in on it as well. So you see the little activity list of the things that we want to, or I want to do while we're there. Um, zip line is a question mark just cause I don't know the intricacies of like how, how that gets set up or whatever, but uh, definitely want to do buffet, the roller coasters, and then I will be getting a tattoo in Vegas as well. And then, and we'll see, maybe I can convince my husband to get one too, because he only has the one. Um, and then, uh, you know, like where we plan on staying, uh, we haven't actually booked that yet, so we still need to. The big thing is my husband's birthday on the 21st. And then um, I just love having all of that together in one place and being able to to see that and then eventually when it gets closer I can use the packing list and a few of the other pages that are travel related I'm very excited about so then um, over here we have order tracker and wish list so I'm currently tracking all of my active orders and I love that I'll just be able to reuse this page as much as I want and if this page, like as you can see, is starting to get full and I'm not able to erase anything, um, then what I can do is literally just copy this page and paste it into the planner again right behind this one and be able to use and have a second order tracker. Um, and then on the right side is something I did uh, the other night actually, which is create a wish list for Villainous Wax Customs and the ones that I want to do and kind of looking at cost and like what uh, I would want to order and stuff like that. 
So super fun there. So starting on the wax milk journey there with the wish list at least. Um, and then we have the subscription tracker and after pay tracker. So, you know, the subscriptions that I'm subscribed to right now and when they activate and how much it costs and all of those things and then tracking any after pay stuff, which I currently don't have. I've been trying not to use it as much as I used to in the past. And then the habit tracker. So this is a custom page that I created. I copied and pasted this in from another um, planner creator. And I think it was a freebie page maybe, or it might've been from a planner that I got for free. I can't remember. Um, but I pasted it in here and then every month I can erase like the January can change to February and then I can change the date here. So I'm letting myself know it's like one to 31, the dates, but then like, you know, February 28th. So do the 28th instead of the 31st. And then these are the different things that I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing every day. Again, cleaning schedule, I am failing. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm keeping myself accountable in several places for that, but not still not helping. Um, and then like my planner, making sure I am going through this planner and utilizing it and updating it and things like that. And then we have the next page is my year overview. So uh, what I'll go ahead and do is and I'll show you guys the tabs on the right side, the little pink tabs here. So we have year and that would take you right to this page, which is why we didn't go anywhere. Um, and then you have, when you click January, it takes you right to January. Um, so this is my January monthly view. And so then if you click here, you see there's these week one or W1, W2, W3, those are the weeks. So if I click that W1, it would take me right to this page here, which is the full week page. Um, and then if I go back to January and I just click on an individual day, so like the seventh, it takes me to the daily page. And so um, I'm gonna go back to the yearly to show that off. So that's kind of how that's broken down. And then also uh, below December, you have the one through seven. So if you click that one, it takes you to custom pages um, or custom tabs that you can use down here as well. So again, more custom options. And then if you click the info button, it takes you back to that little info page. So again, we'll go back up here to the year. So essentially I use, I always carried this with me in a paper planner and I loved that I would be able to do this on the digital and be able to update it wherever I am from my phone or from my tablet because you can download GoodNotes onto Apple phones. Currently I can't use it on my computer, but apparently that is coming soon this year. Um, it'll be available for Windows, so I'm excited about that. But basically what I do is I use the highlighter tool in GoodNotes to create little, um, what, uh, gosh, it was right there on the tip of my tongue, legends, a legend, um, for Logan's days off and my days off. So that way I can know what to expect throughout the year. If I'm going to need to take a day off to be home with him or if we're going to need to find somebody to watch him or if, you know, my husband will have to take a day off, you know, basically to figure things out, um, and, plan ahead basically for when Logan or myself will be off to plan vacation times. I'll put vacations and things like that on here as well. Times that I'm taking PTO, but you know, Logan's not going to be off stuff like that. So as you can see for like January, 2023, so far we had the second Logan and I were both off. It was a holiday. So blue is his holiday day off, um, color and then orange is mine. So I just put them both together on the same day, we both have the 16th of this month off. And then on the 27th is a day off for Logan um, that I don't have off. So now we have to figure that out. Like, is he going to go to Boys and Girls Club? Is he going to go with grandma? Is he going to go, you know, with my husband going to take a day off? Am I going to take a day off? So basically things to plan for. And then uh, I was able to go in and pull the rest of his school year till June and do the first last day of school as well. Um, I don't have all my holidays for the whole year of 2023 in here yet because my work hasn't released that list of the 
um, holidays that will be the paid holidays that we'll be getting so I'm just waiting on that to then update that piece and yeah so there we go and then I believe is this yes so if you click in that ah I'm clicking on stuff okay if you click in that yearly or year again you can still do the same thing like there's the W's it'll take you right to W1 seven so I just love how easy it is. I'm not flipping through pages or using tabs or like having to, you know, I mean, I'm using tabs, but not like physically having to flip back and forth between stuff. I can literally just click and I'm there. So um, I absolutely love that. And so here is my January view. So far I've done January and February. I haven't planned out March or any, any other month. So I'll show you February too, because um, I'm really proud of how they came out. Like they're so pretty and useful um, at the same time. Like this little happy new year, I got that from Pinterest and was able to just throw that in there without having to do anything complicated, like print it on sticker paper and cut it and all this stuff literally just copy pasted and I love the highlighter tool obviously I'm loving how that looks kind of went with like the baby blue theme for January little coffee cup and these are stickers um little images and I'll show you guys my sticker book um here in a bit but like little washi strips even and icons for everything um I just love it so the useful piece on here is you know on the days I'm again putting our highlights so the 16th is MLK day and Logan and I both have that off so using those colors um, but on the actual days for the monthly view I am tracking when I'm uploading videos so if we go back to that dashboard I'm clicking on it right um, you can see these are the colors that I use for my YouTube schedule go into January and there we go so you get, you know, you can see that these are wax videos, a book video, that's what I have uploaded so far for this month. And then um, I will be uploading more videos today. <laughs> I am filming quite a lot today. And then like my, you know, family birthdays, my grandma, my dad's birthday, things that we're doing, trips that we're taking, um, things that fun events that we're doing, things for me to remember that we're planning to do appointments that are coming up and then over here I kind of just set my filming to do since I'm kind of using this the most for filming um I kind of set that up as like these are the things that I need to be doing so filming a book haul is the last thing that I need to do for the main big videos that I'm doing so far this month and then I can erase and start again with the rest of the month and I love it because I can move this whole thing around so the washi strip the to-do list I can move that wherever I want um so as I'm getting through the month I can move it to the top of the month or to over to another side or get rid of it completely if I've checked everything off and I don't need it anymore so then I will show you guys February as well so a little more empty so far I don't have any to-do list or anything yet for this month uh nothing truly huge planned other than I want to take a day off and then um, I, there's, you know, appointments and big events happening in my gaming world, uh, appointments and things like that. So again, doing a really cute like February uh, Valentine's Day theme, marking out Valentine's Day, marking out days off, stuff like that. So there we go. Oh, and then going back to the year and then going back to my oops I'm clicking on stuff come on like I said I'm still kind of figuring out how to navigate it I just started this like a week ago or so um but yeah that's basically that January was the last tab and then I thought I tabbed my daily page though I guess I did not favorite my daily page huh so I will just go to my daily page and then favorite it there we go so here we go. Um, so what I've decided to do, because honestly, I keep clicking on the side. Okay. Um, so what I keep, what I thought of with this planner was like during the week, unless there's anything really big going on or stuff I really want to do after work, other than the stuff I already have listed at a hundred other places. Um, I don't really need to do a layout like this for every day. I don't need to do a weekly layout. 
Um, but the weekends, I do always have a lot of stuff I want to get done or things that I'm like, I really want to just read all weekend, you know, stuff like that. Um, but maybe there's other things going on or things I want to remind myself of or just mark off on or trips that I want to, you know, put. I can put photos on here and just do it as a memory thing if I'd like to. Um, but since most of the stuff that I truly do is on the weekends, since, you know, I'm at work all day during the work week um, or during the week, um, this is my plan for now um, and how I want to use this planner for daily tasks and things like that. So um, basically just doing it for Saturday and Sunday. So here's Saturday and then um, Sunday I have not yet filled out. The only thing I think is because this is a Monday to Sunday planner. Come on, let me back in. Oh, there's the, there's the tab that I click on. I was like, where's the thing I click on to get it to go? Um, because it's Saturday to, or because it's, Monday to Sat or Sunday to Sat so Sunday to Saturday right yeah Sunday to Saturday this planner is Sunday to Saturday um so that's the only thing is like oh, then I could skip the weekly page and then go to Sunday so um again that's where the favorites are super nice because then I can just click between the two and not have to worry about any of that um or I can always be in the monthly page and just click on the date you know wherever I'm I'm at navigate to it but yeah so this is basically the very beautiful spread that I came up with and I just love it I love how much I was able to edit it and the things I was able to add like the little picture um is from uh, Pinterest again like everything else is from like my sticker books and stuff and I just love it and I can reuse them over and over and over again I can delete them and put them back in again and move things around wherever I want them. Nothing is permanent. I can change my mind about how I want something to look. If it's not working for me, it's, I don't have to wait for the next week, you know, um, I can change it right now. And I absolutely love that. So yeah, so there's my, my day for today. Obviously we're in the filming stage. Uh, and then I like have my priorities for the day, doing my hair, doing my laundry and filming, uh, things that I would like to do, but I didn't necessarily plan out a time frame for just because if I don't get to it, it's not a big deal. It's just something I would like to do. Little memo about my husband taking my car into work. Um, cause he works at the Hyundai dealership and I have a Hyundai. <laughs> um, and so they're gonna check the tires for me. Um, my tire pressure is being wonky and then, um, it's probably just the cold. So I'm not super worried about it, but get it fixed and, and make sure that it's not something worse. Uh, but yeah, I just love it. I love being able to edit it and put it together however I want, whenever I want, and then I can change my mind and just all erase it all and start again fresh or move things around and just make it work for me. Like if I suddenly want this bottom space down here with the um, quote and everything, I can just delete all of that and then use it for whatever I want. You know, it's, it's so great. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I'll, like, again, I'll go to the Sunday one so you can see what it looks like blank. So this is what it looks like blank. Um, I was able to put in stickers. So this, the one, two, three list, um, and the little like ribbon thing, those are things that I put in there. Um, so it's just so cool. I just love digital planning. I'm so excited about it. If you can't tell, <laughs> so I don't want this video to go on forever and ever. Um, so basically this is it for my main planner, my everyday regular tasks. Uh, and then I want to sh quickly just kind of show you what I'm doing with my tarot planner and astrology planner. And then I'll kind of show you what else I have going on in good notes. So this is the tarot planner again, same concept of, you know, me, these pages that I'm using. So here I have this um, tarot card tally tracker that I put into here. Um, I got it from, uh, oh my gosh, no, I can't think of the name of the company. Again, Ritual, Ritual. <laughs> I got it from Ritual, but it didn't come in the planner. So I just copied and pasted it at the beginning um, and then bookmarked it as a favorite to be able to have it right there to use. And I'm just kind of tallying up how often I get the different uh, cards and things like that just for fun. And then there's this kind of summary page of like, hey, like you got a lot of pentacles. What does that mean? Like, how does that make you feel? How does that affect you? Stuff like that. Um, so here is the actual planner itself. 
the 2023 ritual planner and then main page and it's got tabs um, just like the other planner over here on the left side you've got icons that take you directly to different things but again I'm mostly using it this way with the favorites and so we have here is a guide a reference guide for different things I am trying to combine tarot and astrology together and see how they meld together and and how that you know affects the way that I look at things and everything and then here is my birth chart and everything I went through there was stickers that I got with this book as well or this book this planner um as well as other ones that I purchased so like these little guys here are little stamps that I got from ritual that I was able to paste into there copy and paste in and then do my birth chart um and everything so I really uh, and this actually is an image that I copy and pasted from Ritual. Like I did the birth chart on Ritual's website and then I just copied and pasted this in. So this is not, I did not draw this or like put any of that in for the actual birth chart. Um, but yeah, and I love that I can kind of color in the flowers and things when I want to. If I feel, you know, an artistic mood and want to color and everything else. And then we have the year ahead. So I pulled the cards for the year ahead and then also for the whole year and then went in and typed in for every month what the cards you know what those things may mean for that month and things like that um and then here is the monthly view so you get kind of the astrological part of it as well as like there you can use this as a regular planner as well if you have tracker and can track you know things that you want to do throughout the month um, and then you do have a monthly view. So I pulled for the month of January. Um, this is the one that I pulled for the year. And then for the actual month is on the right side. Uh, so on the left side here, I have, you know, again, the same thing copied from, uh, the year ahead one, and then I can fill in anything else, you know, thoughts, feelings of, of what I would want to do. And then here, um, I have the, again, the breakdowns for all of the cards that I pulled for the month of January and the different sections. And then at the end of the month, reflect on, you know, how things came about, what happened and how I feel and how I can continue to grow um, there. And then this is the weekly view. So again, you can, you have notes and messages and affirmation kind of section, but you also have like to do's and maybe like the message from that card. And you can pull the card at, you know, in the morning to set the day or you pull a card at the, in the night to help you reflect and process what happened throughout the day. Um, and I love, just that whole aspect and yeah so obviously I am a little behind though <laughs> um I I was not good at keeping up with it for um Thursday and Friday but I will be going back and probably just using those as reflection days and things like that I'm not really using this like I said as a regular planner I have the um, planner collective planner modern planner for that I'm mostly using this just to track that of like my thoughts, feelings, goals here rather than kind of in that more um, affirmative way that you, you have it in a planner of like goals and here's the goals, you know, like kind of just flowing with where I'm at mentally and emotionally and things like that from day to day, week to week, month to month. Um, and then you go into here so they do actually have a little like card pool section for things like the full moon and stuff like that on January 6th so obviously I did that in my astrology planner but I will do a poll for um the full moon um as well and then again back into the month the rest of the month and then also um you know January 21st a new moon and then you continue on through January and then you have February so you can click on the tabs again and they will take you to the different months and then if you're in January you can click on that week and it will take you to that week so I just I love that ability like I'm just amazed by it um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on there so I remember that I need to do that 
and then we'll do the astrology planner so here's the astrology planner i'll kind of go back again um i have you know like the the favorite pages that i want to use and i really edited this down um i don't remember the company that i got this from but i will try to link all that below uh, but I did like actually remove a whole lot because again, it had weekly pages and things like that. And, but it wasn't anything I needed to do. It was to use this as a real planner and like a, not a real planner, but like a regular planner as well as an astrology planner. It wasn't astrology only. It was just centered around astrology and planning your life around that. Um, which I really loved that concept, but mostly I wanted the pages uh, so this is my personal portrait of, you know, where my houses are and planetary positions and things like that. So more detail on that than what I have in the tarot. Again, the Zodiac Guide and kind of gives you a breakdown of different things. Um, and then you have these pages and these are what I wanted to keep and wanted to use. So I did mark down for myself what days these were happening on and then you know, kind of reading through what it says. And then again, you know, what's my current emotional state? How can I develop my sense of security? You know, things like that. I love those questions and it's prompting me to think about myself because self-care is a huge part of what I want to do this year. And this is a huge part of helping me reflect on that, but with a purpose and not just randomly here, there, you know, it gives me structure um, that I'm looking for. So then we have, you know, January 20th, we'll start the Aquarius season and that's the next page and, you know, things to maybe look at doing, donating or volunteering, changing up my look, watching a documentary, different affirmations for, for that season, different things that are happening, events that are happening and phases of the moon. And then it goes into the next uh, one. So January 21st is a new moon. And then again, you know, release, receive goals, action steps, the things that you want to do during that time, the 11th house, and then again, asking those questions and giving that reflection time, full moon, and then again, you have the Pisces season, um, and gives you different affirmations and, and different things like that, and then the goals actually do change as well, like, you know, in the Aries season, now the goals are try something new, do some spring cleaning, exercise outside, so I really like that it kind of prompts me to do these things that you know, again, structure, it gives me structure. So having completed that, I'm now on the Aquarius season page. But I have to try to remember how to get there we go. Okay, so this is my main good notes section. So um, or good notes page documents page, I do have certain ones favorited. So I can go here and just quickly page through to those and then under documents just this is everything I currently have loaded into GoodNotes. So um, let's go over this. So I found this and thought it was super cute and fun. Um, it is a dream light planner. So basically you have a daily checklist and then you know you can check off you know I've basically done everything um, in uh, dream light Valley. There we go. That's the word. I was like, not Dreamlight Planner, Dreamlight Valley. I've basically done everything in this game so far, so I've checked off a lot of stuff already. Uh, but basically, you know, the different things here. So I still have a lot of like little collecty kind of things to do, but it has the different animals. And what's really cool is once you purchase this, you get all the sections. And then if they update or when the game updates and they add new pages, you get those for free. So it is a one-time buy and you'll just continue to get all the updates because obviously the game isn't done and said and over with. They're going to be updating it for years to come. So um, these are like the different task things and the ones I haven't completed yet. So I can track that without having to go into the game. I can kind of make a plan of how I'm going to play that day or, or be like, hey, what do I still need to do in Dreamlight? Um, or when I'm playing, so I don't have to keep going into those sections and navigating through, I can look at this while I play. Um, and then let's see what else is cool in here. Um, they have like a list of all of the foods and you can check off the ones that you've made so far. Um, it does definitely give you some, um, hints and things obviously like tells you where to find things uh but like the ingredients you need to build to make them and how much you get for them so if you don't want those kinds of things spoiled you wouldn't want that section 
Um, but then you have the foraging ones that tells, remind you where to find things. And this is all in the game, but again, like you have to navigate all through those menus and, and pause your gameplay to look at them. But if you wanna have this just up, you can simply page through it. There's no tabs or anything on this. Um, and I've kind of just scribbled in it basically, cause I'm not, it's not a big thing for me. Uh, but you can mark down the characters that do the activities with you. So like my mining ones, my foraging and digging um, characters, the flowers and where you can find them, crops, who's farming buddies, fishing buddies, um, and then gyms. And then this is what I really like as well. So then you have the character tractor tracker and when I am when we get new characters and I'm going in if you play the game if you don't you're not gonna understand anything I'm talking about which is why I'm trying to make this quick uh but if you play the game then you know like one of the ways to help build levels with your with the characters um is to give them their favorite things and they change every day so I can go in look right down here and then reference this rather than having to keep going in and looking and it's a whole process because you have to dig through all the characters and not a quick like search or something. So I really like that. Plus a reminder of what their role is and where their home is located. And if I move it around, then I can let myself know, oh wait, he's not in the meadow anymore. I put him in the plaza or something. So um, yeah, but I'm basically done with everybody right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think, do I need to update Stitch? I don't know why I'm doing it this way. Um, so yeah, here we go. Woody, where was he at the beginning? Okay, yeah, I already completed Stitch. Um, and then the last thing down here is then again, like character gifts. So again, if you're doing a lot of them, you can write down, you know, um, what each one wants rather than doing the individual page if you want. But if you're focused just on one character, that's the nice thing, favorite things of the day. Or the gifts that you wanna give them, stuff like that, you know, track, things like that. Or the things, I don't know, they don't give you stuff, so. Um, yeah, so there we go, and then just go back. And then this is my book planner, reading planner. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close the Dreamlight one. So right now I'm on this page. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this, and I have, I own a lot of books, I've read a lot of books. So this is definitely gonna be a long-term project for me, uh, but essentially we'll go back to the beginning page all the way at the beginning. This it's like, I don't know if you can tell, this is like a thousand page thing. I It'd probably be faster to click the tabs. Um, yeah, here we go. So here's the cover and then you have the index page. So this is the main like navigation page and then you do have the tabs. So you have your library reading journey, reading logs, monthly reading, monthly summary, favorite pages, reading challenge pages, note pages, custom pages, um, going into your collection. So then you can do like collection one and this is every book I have that's fantasy and collection one and two are fantasy collection, you know, and then you can always copy these pages um, over here, you can just copy the page and then paste it back in and then have multiple, so collection one is fantasy books and then have five pages of fantasy books or whatever. Um, so that's really cool. Like it's just so much, if you look at like the list and trackers, your bookshelf, your books, your wish lists, your upcoming releases, book lending tracker, library books, audio books, ebooks, podcasts, finished and unfinished books. Like it's just so much. Um, and I don't know exactly how I wanna use it, but for now I like using this page. Oh, here we go. Um, I like using this page to track my reading challenge, my Goodreads reading challenge to read 36 new books. So that one's blue there because I'm currently reading a brand new book. I'm almost finished with it. So I went ahead and filled that in. I will be finishing it. Um, but this will help me kind of track how many books I've read without actually being to like paste a picture and put a review and do all this stuff. Um, I pasted in these little um, things over um, and then like I colored that in, I colored in like the book, like this was all white and blank and I went ahead and filled it all in with some color and then I will kind of try to match like the color of the book for like filling it in. So the blue I'm reading, um, I was going to call it Age of Adeline, 
uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And so I, um, it's the cover that I have is blue. And so I painted it or filled it in blue. But yeah, so that's kind of how I'm using that for now. But I, I definitely want to use this more. Um, I just, it's a bit overwhelming and that is, there's just like so much you could do. So many different ways to track reading and your books and quotes and things just everywhere. Um, and I use Goodreads pretty heavily. So I feel like some of this could be redundant. So I just don't want to be redundant. What do I really want to have in here? What will be useful to me, make me happy, you know, all the things. So there we go. So those are all the planners that I have in here. And then I have here the sticker book. And usually I keep this like this, like tabbed next to planners when I'm using them because I reference this a lot. These tabs over here don't work. I think I messed them up. Uh, but essentially these are all of these stickers that I have, the digital stickers. So there's the cover. Um, I kind of made my own cover for it there because I'm going to put any stickers I use in here. I also do use GoodNotes Elements if you know what that is. I do have a bunch of stuff uploaded to there because they don't have things set up like this. But this is my preference is to use this because I can find everything and kind of explore a little easier. But um, so I have tarot card stickers. So these are what I was using in my tarot planner. And then here is also little like stamps I can use in different areas um, or in like my astrology planner and things. Here's some kind of like cute moon stickers and then giving me color uh, codes. So for different colors that I may want to use. And then there's some Valentine's Day themed stuff. And then we have, I'll kind of scroll through. And like, I like this because then I can see pretty clearly what's on the page, like fairly clearly what's on the sticker pages because they're big enough um to see like oh I want to it's fall and I want to use a little fall colored candle or a little fall you know looking book and candle or something and click right into it oops press the wrong button um and then just keep scrolling through we got some Halloween stuff on black pages um, meaning they'll have black backgrounds instead of white backgrounds um and then here's like Christmas stuff and then I've got little circle icons. I need to organize the book a little bit more still, but, um, but yeah, I really, I really enjoyed using it so far. I've got weather things and then like literal stuff to then put into the planner. If I don't have a weather section in my planner or something, you know, like I want to track, to, I keep clicking the wrong button. Um, as like St. Patrick's day and, you know, again, Halloween stuff on black pages. Here's the washi strips that I have so far. And I'm definitely exploring like Etsy and different shops and trying to find different things to, to add in so that, you know, I amass this collection, but so much easier than paper stickers because I don't have to have storage for them. It's all just stored on the tablet. I don't have to keep repurchasing the ones that I use all the time. I literally just copy and paste and they're there forever. Like I've used so many of these as you saw, uh, if you watched, oh no, it was this video. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm filming too many videos in one day. Um, yeah, so try not to make this video crazy, crazy long and going too deep dives into things, but I will if you want me to in another video. But like you saw on my daily page in my other, in my regular planner, I use these. So, you know, I just love it. You can crop so you can cut out the words and just have the icon. Um, there's just so many things that you can do. And then like these here, you have the, you know, there you go. So if you have an undated planner, you can use those, um, or a page and you just want to do that. You want a bullet journal. This is perfect. Um, I could never bullet journal because I hated the way my writing looked. It was too creative for me there, but on the tablet, like I can get to where I want to be and practice and, and everything else, like just cute little things that you can copy and paste right into your planners um, to utilize. And then like, like more icons here, they're just so cute. Um, and then more like different things here. And then I've got just regular like black icons. I would like to get these so that I can change the color because I love a lot of them really basic. Um, but right now they're only in black and then you do have these ones in white with a black background. So either way 
but yeah, so there we go. Those are the planners. Um, and that is the system. Um, kind of what I'm all using GoodNotes for and how I'm using these planners and everything else. Um, I hope this was, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, and it was useful. If you're getting into digital planning or were curious about digital planning, I can definitely do some more deep dive videos. If you're interested, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.